after teaching university students on what it was like, what kind of insights are you sharing with them? When you start out uh, with your idealism, you want to achieve 100%, uh, and you think what should be done is A, B, C, D, E, but it turns out in reality, you could probably only achieve 20%. Right, so when you held on to two government positions, first as trade minister, and then tourism and creative economy, what do you think were, were your biggest legacies? You know, we used to have a lot of uh, stakeholder input mm. because at the end of the day uh, this is what becomes important you know that, that all these sectors are creating jobs uh, and good jobs uh, and exports and brand image uh, of Indonesia and nowadays people are saying that Indonesia is really at a crossroads what do you think needs to be done to move forward uh, we were uh, always if you like, uh, become complacent because of our wealth in natural resources. I think what should be done now is to really consolidate and do our homework. Mm. Uh, and doing our homework means addressing the infrastructure constraints, addressing the, the skill deficit, if you like. So the human resource development, which includes education, training, uh, so that you can go to the next level of development. But to do that, you need to, to uh, have the soft as well as the hard infrastructure. President Jokowi, has about a dozen or so economic reform packages to lay the level the playing field. Some critics have charged it's sort of piecemeal approach. Do you agree? I think it's very focused on uh, reducing the cost of doing business. But I think we need a, a bigger reform agenda which touches at some of the fundamental issues and factors. Uh, I think technology is, a, is part of the answer to reducing the inequities that we are observing in Indonesia right now. So you became the first Chinese woman cabinet member mm -hmm. of Indonesia. The world was a very different place back then. Yeah. What did you do to break that ceiling. Our president at the time, he wanted to have a balance uh, in terms of minority, in terms of the religion and other things. You've gone from strength to strength. I think in everything that you've done over the course of your colorful career, I think many probably wonder, have you ever had any setbacks or failures? One of the things that was a major setback at the beginning was, you know, when you come back uh, with a kind of a westernized education, mm. you are too, too, too outspoken. Right. I was always criticized that I was too outspoken. But then I, I began to realize there are ways to get your view across, which is more acceptable. Mm. So I learned. I learned the hard way after a, a few knocks. Mm.